Hello, welcome to Paul's X. I'm talking like this because it's cold out and I have a beard and it's dark. And I feel like it's appropriate for me to speak like this. A little bit of John Connery and just a crazy old man. So, today we're going to talk about what does Acura mean to you? This will be a first of the series of what do these certain brands conjure up in your mind. But when I think of Acura, I think of the Acura Integra. My, friend, my friend's father had one when I was a little boy. Maybe I was 16, 18. But what I remember most was when he got it, he had traded it in, or he traded in a Porsche I believe it was a 911 for it. Now granted it was maybe 10 years old, but he swore up and down that the Acura Integra was a better car. He said it was faster and handled much better. At least it handled better. It was a long time ago. They don't make the Acura Integra anymore. Now they make bigger cars. But should they? Should they go back to the original roots of being more of a sporty car? I guess they're supposed to be luxurious and sporty, but are they really sporty anymore? Or are they just luxurious? Have they gone astray? I believe so. But the worst part, I will tell you that first of all, before I get to the worst part, is that Acura's are wonderful cars. They are very comfortable and drive fast and handle well and will last you a very, very long time. My issue with Acura is they're kind of ugly. Maybe they're not ugly per se, but they don't look as fancy as a Lexus or an Infiniti. I feel these days they spend most of their money, if not all their money, on engineering, which is a good thing to have. But if you're going to spend a little money, you want your car to look nice. And do they look nice? No, not really. Except for the NS, the NSX. That car, I did not like the first version of it. I thought it was ugly. But the new version is very nice looking. I don't know who designed that car, but he deserves a medal. And apparently it is a wonderful car. With... With... It is a uh, hybrid. Yes. So it has a dinky motor and a hybrid electric engines as well. Motors in the front and back. It's all-wheel drive. Apparently it's a wonderful vehicle. But Acura needs to work on style and they need to get more performance oriented in their basic line. I think maybe the Acura Integra is now the Civic Coupe, which itself is a very nice car, but I think they need something like an Acura Integra, where it's like a coupe, but with a little more class. I like the uh, Civic, but an Integra is more of a well-to-do sports car but not overly well-to-do, like a Porsche owner. Maybe like an entry-level M3. Well, I hope you liked my little thing of what does Integra mean to you? Please put your comments. Hit like or dislike. I don't care. I am fancy today. And I'm a snob. But I enjoyed speaking to you. I wish Acura would listen to me. I want to do more of these type of vehicles about what these different kind of brands mean to you. And are they using, are they living up to their image? Now granted, you should probably move on and improve your vehicles, but I think most people have a certain image of a vehicle brand. And they should just kind of work on that and make it awesome. For Integra, it should be sports, 
and luxurious, well, maybe not even so much luxurious as in sports and classy. Classy and well-built, I think that's where they should be. Not so much just purely a good, reliable, fast, great handling car that really isn't all that elegant looking and it's not all that sporty looking. They're confused. Focus. Focus. Thank you for watching. Once again, hit the like and subscribe.